Alzheimer's disease is a degenerative disorder of the brain that occurs in mid to late adult life. It's characterized by the onset of progressive impairment of memory and the progressive impairment in the ability to do cognitive things like um, make change, do mathematics, um, plan what you're going to do over time, um, and engage in sort of complex conversations. And unlike things like cancer or heart attacks, there is no stopping this disease. It just goes on and on. There's nothing we can presently do to prevent the patient from dying from the disorder. It's also unfortunately uh, very prevalent. It's actually the fourth leading cause of death in westernized societies and will become an increasingly massive problem uh, for public health. One of the problems with disorders of the brain, like Alzheimer's disease, is that once the nerve cells have died, uh, they're gone forever, they don't replace, and so you've got a permanently damaged brain. What you'd like to be able to do is to detect the disease just as it's beginning, but before there's been serious damage that's resulted in the death of nerve cells. And then you'd like to be able to stop the process from happening. So our research is designed to actually identify the pathways that lead from the initial event to the ultimate death of neurons and to be able then to use that knowledge of these complex pathways to develop a basically a diagnostic test which will allow you to pick up the disease just as the first biochemical traces of the disease are happening but before necessarily any symptoms have occurred and definitely before there's been any death of them. You'd also like to take that information about that biochemical pathway and identify particular regions in that pathway where you could make a drug that would block the pathway. And if you can do both of those things, then you've actually got a very useful way of handling this disease. You can detect it early, and then you can prevent it from starting and from killing nerve cells.